Hi there, in this video we're going to have a look at uh, my new Pashley Speed 5 uh, vintage path racer bicycle. Um, I've had the bike approximately three weeks now, haven't done that many miles, done about 100 miles on it or so, always in fine weather, uh, like now. Um, but I just wanted to give a, a short review on the, on the actual bike. Um, there isn't many reviews actually on YouTube or anywhere really, certainly not video reviews. So I just wanted to go into the bicycle in a bit more detail. Um, first of all, it's absolutely a wonderful bicycle. Um, obviously made in here, over here in the UK, uh, Stratford-upon-Avon, I believe, by Pashley Bicycles. Uh, it's all hand built. Um, the welding is exceptional, uh, it's fully brazed, uh, the paint is like cream uh, that goes on, it's very thick. Um, initially um, I thought it would be quite difficult to ride due to, I've been riding many bikes in my life including mountain bikes, racing bikes and so forth. Um, takes a bit of getting used to but once you do it's a very very nice bike uh, to ride uh, for short and for medium distances. So um, let's have a quick look at some details on the actual bike itself. Okay, first of all, uh, the, uh, the actual seat, um, it's, a, it's a Brooks saddle. Um, the saddle uh, is very hard once you, once you get it, but like all Brooks saddles, after you've been riding it uh, for about 150 miles or so, it starts to shape to your, your backside, so it becomes quite nice to ride. Um, what I have got, and I'll just show you in the camera here, is a tin of Brooks Profide, which is like a cream. If you just have a look at that, it's like a cream uh, that you apply to the actual um, leather seat. Um, certainly after it rains, so it absorbs in and it makes the actual uh, saddle that much uh, softer. And I've been using it for a couple of weeks now, uh, probably every other night, leaving it on overnight, rubbing in it, buffing it off the next day, and um, it has certainly become softer but it'll take about another 100 or 150 miles for it to fully bed in maybe even longer so that's the actual um, seat it's got some nice copper rivets as you can see here okay if you look at the front of the bike um, you've got a nice um, handlebar by default the Pashley handlebar is that much further down so it's more of a racing sort of bike but what I've done I've actually moved it up so it's not so bent over, it's a bit more comfortable. Um, um, what I've also replaced is, is the bar ends and um, off of eBay I've got these Brooks wooden bar ends that I thought were quite nice, banged them into position and obviously they go with the, the overall uh, theme of the, the bike. A tip is to use some profide on there so it gives it more of a vintage look uh, and it, it waterproofs it a bit as well. Um, the bell, the brass bell, was originally on the handlebar, but I've moved it uh, obviously onto the, the, the handlebar uh, stem, which I think is a better position and looking on various websites, a lot of people tend, tend to do that as well. Okay, if we look at the, the gears, uh, it's a Sturmey Archer 5-speeder, as you can see, click, all the way forward is first, <coughs> all the way back is fifth. Um, I think the gears are really well spaced. Uh, initially I had some re reservations on just five gears, used to 20 odd gears and so forth, but I live up a quite a steep hill and fifth gear is absolutely fine for that. The thing is with all Pashleys and all Sturmey Archer um, hub gear changes is you must change gear um, when you're not pedaling. So momentarily stop pedaling and then you change gear. Apparently that's what it says on the manual. And, um, and that's what you do. It takes a bit of getting used to, but I'm used to it now and there's no problem at all. <clears throat> okay, if we have a look at a bit of the detailing, you can see here you've got the Ashley um, emblem on, on the front. Um, the fork is really nice, it's sort of a curved in fork. Um, and you've got the GP, the GB wing nuts, as you can see there, uh, that are really nice as well. A um, bit of a security risk if you leave it outside, someone can nick the wheel, but um, you know, there you go, it's part of the, the actual uh, vintage look of the bike. Um, so, you know, it, it sits very well. The actual wheel is really nice as well, it's gloss black and it has this gold rim uh, paintwork that's all around it, it's, it's very nice. The spokes are, are very thick as well. Um, one point to mention, it's got Schwabel Delta Cruiser tyres that are reinforced with Kevlar inside so they are puncture resistant which is always a, is a good thing with a, with a path racer as well. Um, the actual um, tread is very good as well, starting to rub in now. 
um, not what you, not what you would call a um, a racing tyre, um, but it's a good general purpose tyre, very comfortable, and it should be inflated to 65 pounds per square inch. Um, one last thing on the front, as you can see, it's got a hub, a um, a brake hub in there. Doesn't use uh, a normal um, brake pads or brake blocks, so the wheel looks really nice and clean. The feel from the actual steering archer brakes, the front and the rear, is extremely good. Um, they're not affected by rain, wet, oil or so forth, but they can only be serviced at a, a proper authorised distributor. Um, but they're very easy to adjust, have a lot of feel, they're not spongy um, and they're, they're really easy to adjust as well. Um, going back to the frame, one thing I do like is the number 5 on here. Uh, denoting that it's a five speed but I think in the old days it used to denote if it was um, it, that was the number of the bike in the race but you can take that off it's got a couple of hex points on the back so you can take that off if you, if you want to as well um, looking at the rest of the detailing the actual speed five decal is actually stuck on um, as well down here and you've got the registration number on the back the serial number um, and it's made in the UK. A couple of hex bolts here, so you can put your vintage um, bottle bottle holder on there uh, as well. Okay, if we look at the um, the actual drivetrain, um, one thing I did change was the actual pedals. The original pedals had um, straps on. I don't get on with straps, never have done. So I swapped them out for the Shimano half casual and half STD pedals, uh, pedals so you've got the best of both worlds and they're really good they match the bike uh, they look you know really part of the bike as well um, I don't know the manufacturer of the actual front um, crank but it's really nice it's very as you can see here it's very well polished it's actually forged so the quality is exceptional on that and it goes really well with the gold chain uh, that you've got on there as well on the back again you've got the, uh, the hub um, and you've got the internal Sturmey Archer 5 speeder that is controlled by this uh, little chain system here. So when you change gears, this goes in and out and selects the actual uh, geometry that, that the cogs that are needed needed for that. Um, very easy to look after, very easy to adjust with the top window here. You have to, I think you have to make sure it's in second gear and then you look for the blue or the yellow coding in this top window here and then you know it's lined up. Um, it hasn't had its first service yet, it's got to go for its first service in a few weeks so um, they'll probably tighten up some of the, the, um, the actual wires um, and just give it, give it an overall check over but so far it's running you know, really well. Um, again, um, you've got the, the Kevlar tyres front and back. Um, all the actual tubing for the wiring is really is nicely held in place. There's nothing exposed. Um, the welding is exceptional. Um, one thing I would say about this bike is the bottom bracket here to the ground is very high. The reason for that it, it simulates the original vintage path races of the 1920s, 1930s, but um, it's really nice to ride. It's very relaxing. Um, you're not going to break any world speed records with the bike, um, but that's not the point. You can still get up to some pretty pretty good speeds on that, um, and it's good for long journeys as well. Um, but if you're going to, if you intend to race. Um, you can really only race other Pashleys or other vintage races such as this, not you know the, the top Boardman bicycles um, because uh, you're not going to keep up with them. Um, but overall it's a fantastic bike, uh, quality is exceptional as you would expect from Pashley. Um, no moans at all, the only thing I would say is probably um, I might put some more leather tape on the actual handlebars here to make it a bit thicker, uh, I haven't got big hands but um, it's quite thin maybe that was the style back then I don't know so I might put some more uh, black tape on that uh, the only other thing I'll probably get for it is a small saddle bag leather saddle bag for the back to put um, um, an allen key set um, something like that but um, overall it's a fantastic bike the size of this bike I believe is 22.5 inches I'm six foot high and it's absolutely perfect I think if you go for the next height up you have a double top tube, which personally I don't like. Um, I think obviously that's the style back then, but I think um, a single top tube like here is, is probably, to me, perfect anyway. Okay, that's it. Thanks for looking. Cheers.